This is part one of the video lesson series about exploring absolute value. And instead of jumping right into absolute value, I want to start with this very simple, perhaps the simplest equation that you could graph. I call it the identity equation because whatever, whatever value of x you put in is the value that you get out. And uh, of course, the graph of this line should be very familiar to you. And it's interesting to put that up on the graph first and then add this very simple absolute value equation. The simplest absolute value equation, really, the absolute value of x is equal to y. And we get this blue V-shaped graph out of that. And I just want to talk for a minute about what, why we have this V-shape. First of all, on the in the first quadrant, it makes sense that that the red line, the identity, uh, the I, uh, the graph of the identity equation, is is right um, below or on top of, depending on your perspective, uh, the this absolute value graph. And it's because the absolute value of any positive number, like three, for example, is three because three is three units away from zero. Uh, maybe a little more interesting is what's happening on the negative side of this graph, where, uh, of course, the identity graph goes down here into the third quadrant because uh, if you put negative 2 in, you get negative 2 out. But when we take the absolute value of negative 2, uh, it gives us positive 2, and that's because negative 2 is 2 units away from 0. So what the result of this is that this section of the of the identity uh, equation is actually reflected across the x-axis uh, up to here, up to, to to line up with this blue section, this 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 section of the absolute value graph. And so, if I turn that identity graph off for a second, I'm I'm left with just the absolute value. And notice we get this V-shape, and it's, uh, it's like two lines coming together right here at what we call the vertex. And that's an important uh, point of uh, this, of any absolute value graph is where's the vertex? And that's, that's one of the main ideas of, of our lesson here today. And so that's pretty much it. I do want to just remind you of one other interesting Thing that we can do graphically, and that is solve equations. For example, this equation, 3 equals the absolute value of x. Oops, I need an equal sign in there. 3 equals the absolute value of x. And notice Desmos knows how to solve this equation. It puts a vertical line right here at negative 3 and positive 3 because those are the two values of x where uh, if you take the absolute value, you get 3. Um, and, and I just want to point out the relationship between this equation, y equals the absolute value of x, and, and our solution that we've discovered here. So one way of looking at this, at this equation is I want, to, I want to know when this equation, what values of x uh, make y equal to 3. And so let me just graph y equal to 3. What I'm showing here is that this purple graph is, is really the left-hand side of the equation I'm trying to solve. And the blue graph is the right-hand side. And it's the points of intersection, those, those values of x, where these two graphs, the purple one and the blue one, intersect at uh, negative 3 and positive 3. Those are my solutions to x. So just a reminder that you can graph, uh, you, can, you can solve an equation like this one, graphically by just graphing y equals the left hand side y equals the right hand side and finding the values of x where those two things cross each other so that is it for part one of absolute value